Hi, this is Victor Galov again. Uh, welcome to part three of streaming on Kubernetes. It doesn't have to be hard way. In the previous episodes, you learn all things that you need to know about running stateful workloads on Kubernetes. And also you learn how the operator makes things happen. And one of the questions that we didn't discuss yet is uh, what is the difference between this open source Helm charts and uh, Confluent operator? And in this episode, I will break down differences between open source Helm charts and Confluent operator. So let's get to it. So, Confluent Operator is a part of a Confluent Enterprise license. So in order to use this, you need to acquire a license from Confluent. With the other hand, that uh, CP Helm charts is uh, freely available. It's a patchy V2 license. You can take this as is and use this as you want. Saying that Confluent Operator is fully supported by Confluent, so meaning that you can pick up your phone and call to our customer success representative to talk about some of the issues you have in productions. On the contrary, even though open source Helm charts using some of the bits from the Confluent platform, namely some of the images that are publicly available, we are not recommend to use this in production. You can think about open source Helm charts as just a simple installer that allows you to install these containers in your Kubernetes environment and let them run on their own. On the contrary, Confluent Operator provides the ways how you can perform complicated maintenance tasks that involves upgrading of your Confluent platform versions, enabling security, providing external access, so far and so on. Confluent Operator lays down a foundational layer that we can use to build new features on top of this, like things like uh, topic management or things like uh, account management, roles management, and things like that. So once you have this in place, we can gradually upgrade and adding more functionality in future. Unfortunately, open source Helm charts are lacking of this functionality and they will not be available in open source Helm charts. That's just because there are some things that you cannot do with this declarative approach that Helm provides you versus the things that you can do with custom controller and custom operator. Only Confluent Operator allows to deploy fully secured streaming platform on Kubernetes in a matter of minutes. Uh, though it's possible to do with uh, open source Helm jobs, it will require some of the domain knowledge how to do that. So how to enable security on the Kafka broker side of things, how to enable security on the rest of the components of the platform. Though this information is publicly available through uh, Confluent documentation, you still require some of the knowledge to implement this and some of the effort to support this in future. So now you have it, all these differences that you have between Confluent Operator and open source Helm charts. So we really would like you to try this out and to check your experience with Confluent Operator on Kubernetes, where you can start jungling all these different bytes of uh, your infrastructure and actually focus on doing some things, building your stream processing applications or building event-driven microservices. And we really want to hear something from you. So if you have any comments and the feedback, don't hesitate to jump into our community Slack and talk to us there, or you can tweet at the Confluent in Twitter. So thank you very much. And as always, have a nice day.